Waste of money. <laughs> Hopeless. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's a, it's a new stroke. <laughs> Still very secret, very hush hush, you know, not in the handbook yet, you know. <laughs> Bounce, boom. <laughs> the quickness of the hand, softly, softly. <laughs> Certainly gave Richard the run around. Oh, who won? He did. <laughs> Could it be these new shoes? Not as quick round the court as they should be, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, by the way, I thought I ought to tell you. I've proposed. Oh, good. Very good. Lovely. Pleased to hear it. Proposed what? <laughs> well, marriage, Tim. Marriage. Oh, great. <laughs> Lovely. Who to? <laughs> well, to Jennifer. Jennifer, do I? Do I know it? Do I know a Jennifer? Jenny! Oh, Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> that Jennifer. Oh. Who else would I propose to? Well, I mean, you might have, uh, you well, know... Well, I've lived with her for six years. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> no need to shout about things like that, right? Good heavens. Oh, that's lovely. Getting married. <laughs> she's not uh, thinking me, Bob, is she? <laughs> no, she's not. <laughs> well, of course she's not, no. It's the other thing, then, is it? Other thing? What other thing? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean... Uh, isn't there another thing? I mean, I don't... Oh, shut up. Look, we're actually getting married because it's time we had kids. Uh. I don't want to be the oldest father in the playground at four o'clock. <laughs> Nor do I. Nor do I, mate. Uh, we've got to do something about it, really. I mean, uh, there is a tide in the affairs of men. Uh, exactly. <laughs> and what are you waiting for, then? High tide. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, I did. Uh, <laughs> Jenny has her reservations, though. <laughs> she reckons marriage does strange things to people. Oh, no, I... No, I don't think she's right there. I can't agree with you. I mean, I mean, look at my mother and father. No, don't look at my mother and father. <laughs> no. Well, congratulations, anyway. From your oldest and best man friend. Best man friend? Best man? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, actually, uh, about being best man. Not the biggest, but uh, certainly the best. <laughs> don't worry, I can do it. Toast the bridesmaid, read the funny telegram. Say no more, Frank. I've asked Richard. Now, now, please understand, Tim. I mean, you're a great mate. Only it was Richard who introduced us, and... Oh, bloody hell. Well, I'm sorry, I've upset you. No, no, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> no, haven't at all. Richard's a, you know, good guy. Not the best at keeping the score in a squash match, but he's, you know... Well, I'm sorry, Tim. Spilt milk under the bridge. No way. <laughs> As it happens, I'm not going to be free on that day anyway. When did you say it was? <laughs> Saturday fortnight. Just as I thought. Impossible. Well, can't you even be there? Well, I can be there. <laughs> yes, but I mean, you know, I'm absolutely up to my ears. You know what I mean? And then, of course, there's the squash, Frank. I hear the county team are scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> I intend to be at the bottom of that barrel. <laughs> yeah, good idea. I shall have to work on my overhead shot. Oh, sorry, Frank. Sorry. <laughs> Mind you, most of my shots are overhead. <laughs> oh, dear. Richard! What are you doing up there? Timothy, it's seven balls up here, and Joe Muggins is going to get them down. Well, watch yourself on that ladder. Actually, Frank, he put them up there. Not the best man at everything. I'm sorry, Tim. I'm sorry. There's no need to apologise, Frank. I'm a virtuoso on the second fiddle. You might say I'm used to riding on the pillion seat of life. <laughs> I wouldn't fancy bumping into her on a dark night. <laughs> One chop to the wedding bells and good night, Vicar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Hello. 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 Instead of being the best man, why does... Look, I'm not going to be a page. <laughs> As it is, the velvet suit is worn out. Now, you... what I was going to say was, be an usher. Look, don't worry. Richard is the best man, and that's that. Let's hope he doesn't fall off that ladder and damage his bit where his brains are. <laughs> I've got to do some practice on these flicks off the back wall, you know. And the forehand's gone. It's gone. Tom, wait! Sammy the centipede. <laughs> Have you won two feet? I got a hundred. Give me a chance. <laughs> ah. Hello, Mother. What sort of time do I call this? I call it 9.30. Don't be silly. That is not the point. Quite right. Sorry, Mother. End of warm welcome. Don't be impertinent. Don't be impertinent. Sorry, I forgot that as well. Sorry, don't be impertinent. <laughs> ah, good heavens. Ah, only two mugs, Mother. Where's Father? <clears throat> oh, it's... <clears throat> is it? I don't know what you mean. You had a tiny tiff. <laughs> Where have you buried him? <laughs> we don't mention your father in this house. As far as I'm concerned, you haven't got a father. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I'm a test tube baby. I knew it. <laughs> we don't mention biology in this house, Timothy. <laughs> We don't mention much in this house, Mother. No. Well, where is the man who's been posing as my father for the last 41 years? Has he wrapped up a little compost in a red-spotted hanky and gone off with the cat? If you must know, he called me a nasty name. I won't say what. But it started with rat and ended with bag. <laughs> Whatever can that be? I can't think what that Rat bag. Oh, of course, of course! <laughs> I merely asked him, perfectly politely, what he thought he'd been doing for the whole day at the bottom of the garden. Looking for fairies? <laughs> oh, yes, take his part. The plain fact of the matter is, he loves that bonfire more than he loves me. Well, it has kept its shape, Mother. It does flare up at night. You know what I mean? Are you looking for a smack bottom? <laughs> yes, I was, Mother. Where do you keep it? In the cupboard under the sink. <laughs> Sit down properly. Oh. I simply went out to throw the washing up water over his bonfire. How was I to know he was out there crouching in the dark, blowing at it? <laughs> he was quite beside himself. He came at me with his dibber. <laughs> well, I wasn't an ATS drill sergeant for nothing. <laughs> I sold him a dummy and he threw himself into the coal frame. <laughs> Hope he didn't squash his pumpkin, Mother. I don't know, and I don't care. I've told him to stay out of my sight. Oh, dear. Now you're feeling sorry, and you're writing him a little note, are you? Certainly not. I'm cutting him out of my will. <laughs> Mother, what were you going to leave him, eh? What you should Father possibly find for an unopened copy of Mrs. Beaton? <laughs> and 25 years of corsets? <laughs> Of the door. If that's your father crawling back with his tail between his legs, tell him to go away. Thank you, Mother Teresa. And for your information, I no longer wear corsets. What? No bones, Mother. You have just saved the whale single-handed. <laughs> well, he's not having that for a start. What are you doing here? You know you're not supposed to come round here. You know I try and keep my life in this house as far apart as possible. Well, you know this is Heartbreak Hall. You know this is Doom Castle. Look, there's been an accident. What, you mean she is pregnant? <laughs> no, 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 Richard. What, he's pregnant? <laughs> Shut up. He's broken a leg. Whose? <laughs> oh, here's you, idiot. <laughs> the lights failed for some reason and he fell off the ladder. Oh, dear. Best man. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Well, well, well. Oh, dear. So I was wondering if you could be best man after all. Well, it's not going to be easy, is it? I mean... <laughs> well... Uh, yes, Mother? Tell him there's plenty more fish water. We're back 
<laughs> hey, you what does he mean your, by that? Never mind, you better get on your way. Do you want to be best man? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop that. Mother, don't worry. It's the Avon lady. <laughs> I've told her she's 20 years too late. But do you want to be best man? Yes. Wait, wait, oh. what? Francis. Francis, how nice. The last time I saw you, you were wearing short trousers. What's this rude boy doing keeping you standing on the doorstep? Come along in. He's got to go somewhere, Mother. He's late. There's a taxi ticket. Nonsense. Up. Come on, Francis. Oh, well, thank you. I don't know why it is, but he never brings any of his little friends home. I don't know why it is, Francis. Goodbye, Francis. <laughs> Do call me Frank. Goodbye, Frank. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Anyone would think he was ashamed of his own parents. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mother, Frank's got to be off for another 20 years. Come on, Frank. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll tell Francis when he's going. Sit down, Francis. <laughs> Are you married yet, Francis? Oh, well, actually, I, uh, no. What's the matter with you, Timothy? <laughs> flies, Mother, flies all over the place. Look at that. Can't have Frank in here with a house full of flies. Stop boring him. Sit down. <laughs> you were saying, Francis? <laughs> well, actually, I'm getting married Saturday fortnight, and Timothy's going to be my best man. Tim! Oh, God. <laughs> I thought you were going to hit me, Mother. <laughs> I'm happy for you, Mother. Hit me, hit me. <laughs> Congratulations, Francis. <laughs> and of course, I should be there. <laughs> Who's the lucky girl? Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer Rowley. Jennifer Rowley. I knew a Millicent Rowley, but she's dead. Can't be her, then. <laughs> I have to ignore you, don't I? And where does Jennifer live? Oh, <laughs> we live... Uh... Uh, well, she lives in the same house as I do. How convenient! They live together. Like you and me? No, no, not like you and me, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. They sleep in the same bed, you know, all that stuff. Well, I hope it's a big one, for decency's sake. Oh, mother. <laughs> Francis, why don't you and Jennifer come to dinner? No. Be quiet. How about tomorrow? No, no, Frank is very busy. I'll okay. get my diary. Oh. Now, Timothy, you give Francis a nice drink. Oh, thank you. There's a half bottle of Lucasade in the sideboard. <laughs> I won't be a minute. You two play quietly. Your mother's exactly the same. I mean, 20 years ago she offered me Lucasade. It's the same bottle, Frank. <laughs> but this place, it's like a time capsule. Frank, don't come to dinner, please. Just... It's pure Sylvia Peters and McDonald Hobley. <laughs> Look. Ovaltine mugs. <laughs> hey, they're worth a fortune now, you know. Frank, I'm asking you not to come to dinner, all right? Hey, I bet you're still an Ovaltine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Frank. You are, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am. <laughs> As your best man, don't come here to dinner. I mean, hmm? if Jennifer has any doubts at all about marriage, this is the last place to bring her. I mean, this is the Chamber of Horrors in here. It's not that bad. It is that bad, Frank. You know what happened today? That mother threw father into the cold frame. She's citing the bonfire as a correspondent. <laughs> He's off somewhere living rough. I mean, how can you bother me bring her here? I mean, it's like a Punch and Judy show here. <laughs> and you're the baby. I'm the sausages. <laughs> here we are. And this is the crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> now, Francis, about tomorrow. What sort of time? Well, Jennifer's it? very busy, Mother. Oh, oh, yes, I'm afraid, Mrs. Lumsden, that uh, Jennifer's going to the having dentist. her ears pierced. Having her ears pierced at the dentist. Filled. Her ears filled. Filled? What with? Well, I, mother, oh, look at that scrumptious food. Yum, 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 Leave yum. Leave it alone. It's not for you. It's for Francis. You can't give that to Frank. He's only visiting. He's not a prisoner. <laughs> It is, Mother. I know it is, Rob. Ooh, dear. Don't make that silly face. The wind might change. <laughs> now, while you're eating this, Francis, I'll have a word with Jennifer on the telephone. You don't know her number, Mother. It's the same as Francis's. I'm not just a pretty face. That's true enough, certainly. <laughs> now, this is beetroot soup, Francis. Timothy forgot to mend the liquidizer, so you'll need a knife and fork. <laughs> Don't I get any supper at all? No, you don't. What's that, a reward for good behaviour? That's for being cheeky. <laughs> That's for encouraging him. <laughs> That's the way to get it! <laughs> okay, okay, quiet, quiet. Where's Nicholas and Clyde? Just coming, miss. Jennifer? 
Jenny. <laughs> Miss Rooney. Is <laughs> that uh, your boyfriend, Miss? Oh. Here's a day, oh, man. Oh, oh Brian. Please. <laughs> what are you doing here, dude? Well, oh, by the way, first of all, congratulations. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure you're doing the right thing, even if you're not. <laughs> oh. so, anyway, it's about um, supper tonight. Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, I, well, I'm afraid it's off. Oh, why, what's happened? I know, well, it's very sad, actually, but mother and father last night were celebrating 42 years, 42 years of wonderful, wonderful marriage, an institution of which we're all very much in favour. <laughs> and... Uh, stop that, Brian! Goodness, stop. Oh, as I say, we were celebrating, and Mother had rather too much to drink and fell on a champagne cork. <laughs> Falling on a champagne cork doesn't sound that bad. On a champagne cork, off a ladder. A ladder? Yes. She was weeding the window box, you see, by way of celebration. Fr from the outside? Ah, well, we can't get our windows open. It's a double glazing. We've had the same air in the house since 1979. <laughs> so, in, in short, it's all off. And oh, we... well, I pop in. Oh, no, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, she's infectious. Infectious? How? Uh, a splinter. Went septic, apparently. The, well, the ladder must have been poisonous. Oh, the poor woman. I know. Oh, why aren't you with her? Well, I ought to be, I know. I feel very guilty, but she's not allowed visitors, would you believe? Not allowed visitors. For three weeks. She mustn't stir for three weeks. Well, what's she doing on that bus, then? We... Uh... <laughs> You're pulling my leg. <laughs> April Fool. It's not April. I know. That's the clever bit. <laughs> They're here, Miss. Come on, then. You're worse than Frank. I'll see you tonight. What? Come on, then. I don't wish to cross the road, thank you. Bloody kids. <laughs> Is that you, Timothy? Yes, Mother. Why are you late? An earthquake, Mother. <laughs> then they said there was going to be a tidal wave and the order went out, abandon library. <laughs> Fortunately, I floated to safety on Miss Peabody. <laughs> Very gallant woman and an excellent raft. Any excuse? Your precious friends will be here in a minute. Put your dark suit on. A dark suit, Mother? That's only for funerals. <laughs> then again, this lettuce has been dead for two weeks. <laughs> Don't be silly. No, right. Look. These Volivant, FHB. FHB? Tamily hold back. Oh, don't worry, Mother, I won't touch them. I've only just got over the flu. <laughs> now, tell me, I'm very worried about Father, Mother. Has he turned up with... I, mean... I don't know, and I don't care. Look, these are Marzipan and Piccalilli. Haven't you seen him, Mother? No, you like Marzipan and Piccalilli. Separately, yes. <laughs> Together, I like them somewhere between coconut matting and a sick headache. <laughs> Now, Mother, please tell me, where is Father? Where, I mean, what, is he sleeping rough under the railway arch or what? I'll tell you this, Timothy. When I'm dead, even before I'm cold, he'll be off to Violet Cathcart. <laughs> Violet Cathcart? Who's that? The lady with the surgical stockings and the poodle? <laughs> or one of the other widows, passing himself off as a handyman. What's he ever mended here? Your playpen still in pieces. <laughs> Mother, Frank and Jenny are coming to dinner. No father. What can we tell them? Well, I shall tell her the whole story. Oh. She ought to know what men are really like. Mother, she'll not marry him. I mean, you'll ruin everything. What about you? What? You left the larder door open. The cat's been at the junket. <laughs> Probably trying to end it all, I should think. <laughs> Up in the loft, in the decoration box, there's a small plaster Father Christmas on a sledge. It'll cover the poor mark. But it's not Christmas, Mother. Well, the junkie doesn't know that. <laughs> Off you go. Oh. And comb your hair. Jennifer's a teacher. If it's in a mess, she'll think you've got nits. Sorry, Phyllis, I, I must have dropped off, you see. Oh, Timothy. What are you doing here? Uh, where, where am I? 
Oh, yes, yes. Your mother told me to keep out of her sight. So I did. Well, it's awful up here. No, no, not a bit of it. <laughs> Sun's over the yard arm. Uh, fancy drink? <laughs> well. In, out, or pending? Oh, pending. <laughs> Very fine. Uh. Oh. Thank you, Dobby. <laughs> There's peanuts, crisps, pickled onions in the doll's house, ground floor. Cheese footballs upstairs. Make yourself at home. Oh, I'm not that small. <laughs> I think I'll have uh, a crisp, if you don't mind. Well, I'm glad I found you here, because you know that, um... You know Frank and Jenny are coming to dinner, I don't... Well, you know they're getting married, don't you? Are they? Oh, jolly good. You know, I always used to make one speech at weddings. Marriage is like a compost heap. You only get out what you put in. <laughs> that is very true, very true. But you're going to come down and join us for dinner, aren't no, you? No, it's not as simple as all that, Timothy. You know what your mother called me. A red-faced bottlenose layabout, was it? Certainly not. <laughs> sorry, darling, sorry. Uh, that was last time. <laughs> no, I've got my goat. You see, I couldn't manage a bonfire to save my life. I've been having bonfires since I was so high. One match, that's all I need. No paraffin either. I... I know, well, I know that. I know that only too well. Do come down and join us, eh? Just for me. I um, never cracked on, you know, about Violet Cathcart and a rising damp. Have you got that Father Christmas? I am not leaving this loft until I have an apology. Well, I'll get you one, Father. You and whose army, Timothy? Me and the old teenies. <laughs> if there's a robin on a log, bring that too. I can dig something nasty out of the jelly. <laughs> Um, she's making some sort of adjustment to the jelly. Uh, look, she's not ready. We'll walk around the block again. Uh, Frank, what's wrong? I think he was very, very upset, to be honest, Mother. <laughs> I think he'd been crying. Probably missed the compost. A grown man sulking in the loft. All you have to do, Mother, is shout upstairs that you're sorry. I'm not apologising to your father. He owes me an apology. Oh, Mother, why was I ever born? He never apologised for that, either. <laughs> gave you pretty short shrift, eh, Timothy? No, she has apologised in full. Well, I'll be damned. Well, gracious in victory, Timothy. I'll go on and tell her. <laughs> tell her what? That she's apologised. Mother, he's on his, on his way down. Oh, he's apologised then. Yes, Mother. What did I tell you? A broken reed, that man. Yes, Mother. Good evening, Phyllis. Good evening, Sidney. <laughs> I'm glad to see that sanity has been restored. <laughs> it only took a simple apology, didn't it? Indeed, thank you. No, 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 no. <laughs> thank you. No, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you both. Thank everyone, even me. You? you? No, not me, no. No, 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 no what about... Anyway, here we are, happy families. The Lumsden. Mr. Lumsden, the sometime waterboard man. Mrs. Lumsden, the sometime waterboard man's lady wife. And Master Lumsden, little drip off the old tap. Sorry, <laughs> Father! Good heavens, this is an end to apologies and recriminations. Ah, right on time. Door, Timothy. Here, Timothy. Back to normal. Punch and Judy turn on the baby. Sorry. <laughs> Everything must be sweetness and light. Let joy be unconfined. She's probably in the club anyway. Language, Timothy! Whoopee! <laughs> Can't help laughing. Can you? <laughs> Reminds me of another little joke about a chap called Speedy Gonzales. You heard this one? Oh, no, thank you, Sydney. <laughs> That's quite enough. You come and help me get the coffee. Oh, I'll come and help. Oh, jolly good. <laughs> You're not sitting down. If Jennifer's kind enough to help me, you can finish that thing out in the garden. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> well, you going to have another Vimto? <laughs> Oh, are you going to stick? I'll stick with the British sherry. Uh, by all means. Well, it's been a very nice evening, hasn't it? Beautifully stage managed by yours truly. <laughs> Our little fib here and there works wonders, you know. Domestic bliss, you know. It's very reassuring for Jennifer, really. You know. Ooh, this sherry is a killer. I know. Mother beefs it up with Ribena. <laughs> Must say that Jennifer and Mother are getting on very well, aren't they? I mean, really, you know. Like two peas in a pod. Mm. To be honest, I don't know whether or not I would sign up for life with a girl who got on so well with my mother. <laughs> it doesn't say a lot for a sense of judgment, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about that, Tim. <laughs> what do you mean? Sorry. What? Well, yeah. it's not Jenny that's got her doubts. It's me. Well, why? What? 
Oh, I mean, she's a school teacher, you know. Yes. Well, she don't have to tell me off sometimes. <laughs> Two peas in a pod, you say, eh? I mean, if she's going to be like your mother, Tim, I can't go through with it. Oh, Frank, well, you must... thanks for the vote of confidence, Frank Baker. And good night. No, no, Denver. It didn't mean that you were like my mother. <laughs> he was only joking. It didn't sound like a joke to me. Oh, God. Oh, she's overreacting. Goodness me. There are worse things in life than being like my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Me at the moment, I can't think what they are. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Sorry, Mother. Well, I better go and fetch her. I'm the best man. It is my duty. Excuse me. <laughs> I must apologize for his rudeness, Francis. He gets overexcited. Do you remember that little satin page suit? He ruined the knickerbockers at all three weddings. <laughs> They don't mean it. Come back and have a talk. Oh, it isn't Jennifer. I'm sorry. Oh. He's asleep, Phyllis. Be quiet. I'm not speaking to you. <laughs> Timothy! Oh. Wake up! Oh. I have a bone to pick with you. Mother, I'm asleep. Nonsense! I know when you're pretending. Now then, you told your father that I'd apologized and I did nothing of the kind. Never mind that, Mother. I mean, how are Frank and Jennifer? Are they all right? Oh, they're billing and cooing, Timothy. <laughs> Small thanks to you. You're always making trouble. Ruining our party, mugging some poor girl, and breaking off Frank and Jennifer's engagement. I did not. They've asked me to be the best man. <laughs> what? Unless you're better in time. And if you want to be better, you'll have to eat all this up. Oh. What is it, Mother? It's the party's leftovers, all cooked together. <laughs> now, I'm going to cut it into soldiers and stay here. <laughs> Oh, Mother, the visiting hour finishes at 5.30. Ah, but mothers are allowed to stay with their babies all day. <laughs> and all night. Sister! Major! 